What do you think the number one thing that the global community can do to help preserve Tibetan culture is? Maybe there are two ways. See. Which American and the European peoples are already doing. Uh, Tibetan traditions is now and more and more Western peoples like yourselves you know, interested in starting Tibetan culture and philosophy and Tibetan philosophy and, and meditation is already spreading in the Western community. That is also very important factor to maintain Tibetan cultures. All good knowledge, whatever our level on the earth, is international joy. Joy. Regardless where you come from, His Holiness introduced the science into the monasteries, and scientific knowledge is preserved perfectly in the West. So we are interested. <laughs> <laughs> now it seems okay with support of the mainly due to the kindness of His Holiness and kind, sympathetic support with Western and Eastern other countries. That we are not, uh, we have not as difficult as last, you know. Years and years are getting better, but sometimes if there is necessary, you know, to support, you know, those who have, those who have abilities, so that we can maintain cultures. And most important thing is. Now, Western peoples are very sympathetic for success of the His Holiness talk with China over caution of the future Japanese middle way. If that happens, then uh, we are able to continually maintain our culture in Tibetan itself, in connection with Western Buddhist centers. <laughs> <laughs>